Jim Calhoun was a big, peaceful man living in a big, peaceful country. It was all he had ever known and all he had ever needed. But it wasn't enough for his 17-year-old sister, Betsy. She took off to look for glamour and excitement in the big city, and that made her a target. That's our chick. Now we want her. Because to some people, a beautiful runaway like Betsy is a very saleable piece of merchandise. She a junkie? She's fresh, man, from the country. I'll give you $100. 500 bucks. That's cheap, man. That's a bargain. Help me, please. Take her. Jim Calhoun knew he had to find his sister before it was too late. What he didn't know was that the cops couldn't help him. Come here. Look, see, we got a lot of city out there. And on that one street in one hour, maybe 100 girls like your sister come passing by. You think we can stop them all, shake them down for ID? People got right, you know? I like things rough. You know what I mean? New laws, cowboy. Nobody could help him. This lists hospitals, known communes, halfway houses for pregnant girls and such. Do you mind if I look around? Hell yes, I mind if you look around. Why don't you just leave her alone, wherever she is? You fix her. She ain't going to no hospital. I'm tired of people like you who are too busy to do their job. All we got is unsworn allegation and hearsay. Hell, I couldn't ask Johnny D for the time of day. I want that big ox dead, and I don't care if they use a bazooka. So Jim Calhoun helped himself. Hang on. When the cop slammed the door in his face, he took the law into his own hands and broke it. You're going to run your big macho number and get yourself killed in the bargain. Hell, with a little luck, you might be able to start a war. <laughs> We fool around with these people, they're gonna blow us away! Jim Calhoun. A one-man posse. On a track down. What would you do if it was your sister? <laughs>